What's going on guys? I promised you that I would react to the new Shogun trailer that apparently just dropped on, apparently it's for Netflix, but it's also going to be on FX. Um, you know, every, I think, I feel like every now and then corporate media America tries tempting or, you know, seducing pseudo weeaboos like myself with stuff like this. And, you know, I kind of appreciate it because, I mean, the age of the samurai was just awesome. Like feudal Japan is just such a cool, you know, everything about it. Who doesn't love it, right? And of course, it's starting starring uh, Hiroyuki Sanada, who is basically uh, Hollywood's <laughs> token Japanese actor. He's been in everything. You know, if you've seen Forty Seven Ronin, uh, Mortal Kombat, Last Samurai, um, Wolverine, he had even an, a bit part in Avengers Endgame when Hawkeye's in Tokyo. He's in everything. Um, yeah, you know, he has a fair amount of talent, but it should be it should be nice to see. So let's let's uh, let's tear into this. Let's see. Let's take a look. Do not be fooled by our politeness, our bows, our maze of rituals. Death is in our air. And sea and earth. Just remember. We live and we die. We control nothing beyond that. There's a saying out here, every man has three hearts, one in his mouth. That is, that is the Tokugawa, well that looks a lot like the Tokugawa crest. In his chest, just for his friends. And the secret heart, buried deep. Where no one can find it. Probably Edo, Tokyo. What kind of man wields power in a land like this? The one who they open or the one you never see? Will I die here? Likely. War is coming. <laughs> I don't recognize that crust. Death are the same. Both can have value and purpose. This is not where we die. We should be corpses by now. But here we are. My life is mine and yours is yours. On Nabugesha. If you can't see that, you'll never be free of this prison. It is you who is imprisoned. Freedom is all you ever live for. I assume that was her father. I try I try and refrain now from getting too either really hyped or kind of not hyped whenever I see this stuff anymore. And the only the only reason why is because um it, it's a trailer. They're going to put the, they're going to put the best parts of the series together. Let's let's break down a couple things. Number 1. Um and this is this is this is based off a novel. Um there are some things to like here. Um I I think well, I mean <laughs> you know, with production quality like this, there's tons of stuff to like no matter what. The funny thing that I find, and I think I brought this up in my short yesterday. Death is in our air. A British Japanese actress, or a British, you know, a Japanese girl talking in a British accent, which is always nice to see. Um, and I and I guess, well, you know, it's it was it was a novel written by an Englishman, from what I understand. So it explains why there's like this, you know, this this non-Japanese guy here. Who. Uh, huh. Just a regular old old British guy. Let me see what else we got. Um, I think I saw the Tokugawa crest, which I believe is replaced with a fictional clan called the Torunaga or something like that. Some fictional. I think it is a fictional clan, but the crest certainly looks a lot like the Tokugawa crest. Okay, so yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's the Tokugawa crest. 
Tokuga. The Tokugawa Crest. Yep, there we go. Bingo. Let me let me read up this let me read up this novel, Shogun novel. Uh, 1975 novel, James Clavell, first novel, internal class. Okay, so, all right. And reception, you know, typically, t typically, it's it's nice to see that this this um this Wikipedia page doesn't have a controversies page because typically, whenever you see like a Western author try and write a show, try and write something, you know, it typically it ends up not going over well, and people say, oh, you know, it's a it's. It's the orientalization of these types of works, but that's that's a good thing. Beginning in feudal Japan, some months before the time of the Battle of Sekigahara, Toranaga. Okay, all right. So that that's <laughs> he. You know what's funny? Sanada does kind of look like Ieyasu. Uh, you know, Ieyasu has been portrayed by like a ton of guys. Any listen, I I know Japanese history, maybe a lot of Japanese history, and maybe I'll make a video on it sometime. But it's nice to see that it's not it's not complete fiction. Apparently, it's based off of. English sailor John Blackthorne, which was the exploits of William Adams. Funnily enough, the same guy that was that Neo was based off of. You played Neo, the game, William. Based off of this guy. <laughs> based off of the guy in Neo. Which is which is which is awesome. It's pretty neat to see kind of this, you know, this 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 common lore binding these things together. Um, okay, so that explains why Toranaga sounds a lot like to Tokugawa and the crest is ex exactly the same. The Anjin pilot, William Adams. Yep, that's, yeah, so it's basically telling the story of Neo. That's, that's pretty interesting. That is, that, 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 that is, that is pretty interesting. I thought this was complete fiction at first. Um, but now, now it actually, it's actually based off of the history, which is nice to see. <laughs> This is, that's actually important to note. People don't often realize this. The Japanese, when you watch The Last Samurai, and you watch how much the Japanese, the, the, the samurai make a big deal of not using guns and just using swords. The samurai were using guns in battles for about 250 years before The Last Samurai. Matter of fact, guns were like one of the few Western things that the when the when the first European ships made it to Europe, sorry, uh, to Japan, the daimyos were like, what is this? I can put like metal in this tube and it explodes and it kills people from a distance. I like this. And uh, and they mass produced what are called Tanegashima rifles, um, Tanegashima Ashigaru, which basically that just means that these are foot soldiers, Ashigaru, uh, Ashigaru. And they're holding Tanegashima rifles. And Tanegashima is the name of a set of islands in the south of Japan where the Portuguese first... I, I'm not going to bore you with the history, but it's nice to see that they're actually not afraid to show the samurai that... You know, the, the samurai, Ashigaru, with actual guns. They're not, they weren't afraid of guns at all. But that's just, that's just, that's just a Western, like, romanticization. You know, oh, they're loyal to the sword, of the, the soul of the sword. The sword wasn't even their main weapon. It was the spear or the bow and arrow. That's uh, that's giving major Last Samurai vibes right here. What kind of man? <laughs> will shower? That scene. If you've seen that scene in the Last Samurai, where like Tom Cruise just gets his ass handed to him, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> it, it's kind of you know that it actually kind of makes me think like wow, like this 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 um show is like more. It's you know it's taking the Last Samurai story, but it's like rewinding it. 250 years thereabouts because the battle of Sekigahara was 60 yeah 1600 so it's taking the story of the last samurai and basically rewinding it 280 years to where it actually made sense like in the in in the late 1500s which is you know i i appreciate historical um authenticity um yeah i i really i really have nothing i really have nothing bad to say about this but again you know whenever you watch any trailer it you you, you think it you think it looks good you think you you know, but the show doesn't always deliver. Uh, when is it airing? February twenty twenty four. All right, this might be actually something that I would watch <laughs> when it finally comes out. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I, I I appreciate you putting up with like my ramblings on Japanese history. It's something that I'm a fan of. But eventually, I might make a video talking about 
intricacies of Japanese history that I find interesting. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.